the Martin Odegaard pass for this Bukayo Saka second goal is a top quality piece of skill. And I'll explain why. When Martin Odegaard plays that ball at the angle that he does, he gives Bukayo Saka, based on the weight and the direction of the pass and the angle of the pass, he gives Bukayo Saka options. He puts it into Bukayo Saka's path in such a way that coming in off that right-hand side, if he just wants to open up his left boot and try and guide it into the far corner, he can. Such was the angle on the pass, the weight on the pass. It's got the kind of weight on it that means he can just run straight onto it. He can take it in his stride. He's also got the option to take a touch, which he does in the end. And once he takes a touch, of course, the defender gets back. And what does he do? He goes on the outside. And this is something that Bukayo Saka is getting better and better at. When we were struggling, when we were finding it difficult to break teams down, one of the things that people constantly pointed at was the fact that we've got two wingers, a left footer on the right and a right footer on the left. And whenever we work the ball to them, it's pretty obvious, actually, what those guys are going to do with it. They want to eventually work it onto their strong foot to try and get a shot off. And I actually think one of the noticeable changes since we've come back from Dubai has been that both of them have been a little bit less predictable in that they are far more willing now and confident in the idea of going on the outside. Martinelli, to be fair, has gone on the outside more in the past than Saka has because he backs his pace and he backs the fact that he can get around the ball once he's beaten the man. And if he needs to use his right foot, he can. Saka, not so much. Saka has been someone who's tended to cut inside. But since Dubai, we've seen him, I think, be a lot more A, confident, but B, willing to kind of take the ball on that right foot of his and get a shot off. He scored a good goal at Nottingham Forest with his right foot and he scored a good goal today and sometimes you know people say when you get into those situations um when you get into those positions from which Saka scored his second goal Arsenal's third you should always be looking to go back across the goal you should be looking for the far post that's how you should strike it when I was learning to play football and being coached by some really really great people I was a forward and it was always when you get into that kind of situation and the angles against you go across the goal. Because if you go across the goal, but you might drag it into an area where somebody else um, can uh, can turn it in, where you force a save out of the goalkeeper and the ball drops to someone else. What I love about Bukayo Saka, and, and I think there are a few strikers over the years that have been really, really good at this. I love this idea of, yeah, you know what? I will go across the goal if I think the angle's right. But actually, at times, I'm going to opt for power more than precision. And I'm going to try and hit the roof of the net at the near post and make the goalkeeper work that way. You know, Sergio Aguero, I think, has been pointed out uh, by Ian in the chat, used to do that really, really well. And it's great to see Bukayo Saka showing a bit more variation, not just in the build-up, not just in the phase where he's taking on the man or trying to create space for that shot, but then different types of finishes, different executions, it makes you unpredictable and it makes you much harder to defend against. And